Sure, there are a ton of options to sell your home fast, but is that the best option for you? Today, we're going to dive in on that topic. My name is Lane. And I'm Scott. And we're bringing you the Orange County Real Estate Bee each and every week. We love bringing relevant topics. And today, we're going to be talking about selling your home fast, the pros and cons. There are pros and cons. Traditionally, we think a seller wants the most money in the shortest amount of time with the least amount of hassle. But that's not always the case. So the first thing to understand is what is the ultimate goal of the individual seller of a home in today's market? That's right. So a lot of sellers, and we've heard it out there because there's a lot of programs that are they were gaining success because of this, but they don't want the hassle of showing the house. They don't want the hassle of staging the home. They don't want the hassle of the photos. They want the hassle of the open house. They don't. Want, they just want, give me an instant offer. Give me an all-cash offer, whatever it is. And I, if it's good enough for me, I'm going to take it and run. Exactly right. You know, I have a client right in that situation right now. Uh, he's been in his house for 45 years. His house is worth now more than he ever dreamt in his entire lifetime. And he said to me just the other day, you know what? I don't want to go through all the things that it would take to guarantee that I get the absolute best and highest price. I'm okay with X amount. Now that may seem strange to a lot of people, but again, depending on where you are in life, the hassle factor or perceived hassle factor or the inconvenience may outweigh the wish to just be kind of a done deal. That's right. Now let's talk about some different options. Sure, you can go to the online sites and say, hey, I want an install offer. What are you willing to you know, give me mm -hmm. for my home? Now let me think, like, think about an alternative. If you find a real estate professional or a team that's been around for a really long time, they've already developed a handful of investors that are paying premium prices on homes, Correct. that are giving you instant offers that are actually higher than the ones you're probably gonna find online. Now, at that same time, that same real estate professional will give you different options. They say, okay, we can provide you the instant all cash offer today at this particular price, or we can do a hybrid where we've got some buyers paying this. Mm -hmm. Or if you go on the open market and you, bear, you can bear with us for a couple weeks, you know, and, we, and, and, follow, weeks. and follow this plan, you have the opportunity of netting this. Because I will say, if you do go on the open market, it gives yourself the best chance to net the most money. Well, let's look at it this way. If you take the option of an iBuyer as a seller, even with an investor that's brought to you by a real estate agent, you're agreeing on a set price without ever knowing what someone else might have been willing to pay. If you do go on the open market, you are always going to rest assured knowing that no money was ever left on the table, that you've reached that high water mark because you've exposed it to the marketplace as a whole. You've allowed the bidding process to come into play. Again, if you've hired a competent agent that knows how to properly create a launch plan for your property, and that's a whole other video. But again, the pros and cons are simply this. You might get an offer that's acceptable to you with an iBuyer or an instant offer, but you'll never know what you might have gotten if you had exposed your home and gone on the open market. I mean, just two weeks ago from one of our listings in Costa Mesa, 24 offers, $300,000 over the list price. Crazy. Like you wouldn't even have been able to know that hadn't we gone on the open market for that particular situation. But it goes back to what we were talking about in the beginning. Each individual has different plans and different wants. So somebody might not care about $300,000 over ask. They want the ease of it. Yeah. But make sure you go with that real estate professional over that that one particular company because those real estate professionals have people that are paying higher prices than those individuals. They are, and I, we're bouncing back a little forth, but just remember too, the iBuyer program is just like anything out there. When it comes from online, there's always a hidden middleman in there that's got to make a profit. That's what we find, whether it's referral service for or service providers, whatever. Anything coming online, there's going to be that middleman that has to get some money out of the deal. And then one final thing here, as we mentioned at the beginning, the perceived hassle that many sellers have of going on the open market. Again, by hiring the right professionals that can project manage everything from step one to step closing, it can be extremely and surprisingly painless and stress-free for the seller to be able to go through the full preparation process and the full on-market launch weekend process, if you will, and know that they're netting the highest amount of money. But that's also another video. Yeah, my best advice is just be, just be informed. Be like, just be educated and have that real estate professional give you all the options. They can give you the quick sale and sell fast. That's what we're talking about, fast selling mm -hmm. in real estate. Or they can give you the option of what it's going to be like on the open market or the opportunities of being on the open market. And you can make that particular decision. But don't, don't just go with one or the other if a fast sale is something that is open to you. You want to go with somebody that can present you all of the options yeah. unbiasedly up front. We like that. I think in closing, Lane, what we're getting to with this is the informed consumer is the one that's going to come out ahead of the game. You still may make that decision to sell to an instant offer investor type buyer, but again, you'll have all the facts and that's what you need. Get all the facts up front so you can make the best decision and be comfortable with that. So selling house fast is possible, it's doable, it's out there, but it might not always be your best option. Know the facts. Get the facts, know your options. Thanks for watching. Absolutely. Take care.